Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to Office 365 Concepts. In the last video, we talked about MFC Mappy tool and we discussed few use case scenarios where you can use MFC Mappy tool. In this particular video, we will be discussing few more use case scenarios where MFC Mappy tool can help us to troubleshoot various types of issues in Exchange environment. We will discuss how you can troubleshoot out of office issues and then I will demonstrate to you how you can find the hidden folders of recover deleted item folder and how to delete emails from these folders using MFC Mappy tool. So the first use case scenario that we are going to discuss is how to troubleshoot out of office issues using MFC Mappy tool. Out of office or OOF are basically inbox rules. Those are set within a user's mailbox. These rules are server side rules. That is why they are triggered even if your Outlook client is not running. So in nutshell, out of office feature is when you are on vacation or let's say you are on holidays, you do not have access to your mailbox. You set out of office feature in Outlook client along with a custom text. For example, I'm not available during this particular time. So whenever a user will send email to you, he will get that out of office email. So he will come to know that you are away or you are not available during that particular duration. Basically, there are three types of out of office rules. Internal rule, external rule and non sender. So let me enable out of office rule first and then we will check these rules using MFC Mappy. So I'll send this to both internal and external recipients and let's type a text. For example, I am not available for next five days. Same text for outside my organization and let's click OK. So now automatic replies or out of office is enabled on my mailbox. Whosoever will send an email to me, he will get that message that I'm not available for next five days. Now let's go to MFC Mappy tool. Go to tools, options, Scroll these options down and make sure these two options are checked MDB underscore online and Mappy underscore no underscore cache. Click OK. Next, we will load the Outlook profile within this tool. I have only this profile. As we discussed in the previous session, if you have multiple Outlook profiles, you just need to click on this drop down and this will list all the Outlook profiles. Those are configured. I have only one profile, so I'll click on the profile and then click OK. Now this will load my mailbox in this particular tool. This is the email address that I'm using in my Outlook client. Concept at office365concepts.com. So double click on this mailbox or on this email address. Expand root container. Scroll down, expand top of information store. Now first, let me show you how to view out of office rules in MFC Mappy. Right click inbox and click open associated contents table. Maximize this window and go to message class. Now you see here, IPM.rule.version2.message. There are two rules. And the other rules say IPM.not.rules.external oof template Microsoft. And it says IPM.not.rules.oof template.microsoft. Now let me explain these two rules to you. To identify what type of rule it is, select the rule and look at the bottom screen here and here look for pr underscore rule underscore message name 
let me just expand it so it says pr underscore rule underscore message or msg underscore name now double click on this value it says microsoft exchange oof internal senders dot global there are two rules majorly internal and external this is the internal rule now if i go to another rule and look for same value pr underscore rule underscore message name this one double click this one is all external senders so this is my internal senders or internal recipients oof rule and this is the rule for external recipients who are going to receive the oof emails apart from these two rules you will also see templates these are out of office templates those are created within your mailbox when you enable out of office now let's say you have enabled out of office from outlook client but when senders are sending emails to you they are not receiving out of office emails now i would not recommend you mfc mappy as a first approach towards this issue but yes you can try mfc mappy as well if you are done with rest of the troubleshooting that is available so in this scenario first you can disable and re-enable out of office from outlook client file and from here you can click turn off and then you can turn it back on or you can use mfc mappy tool and you can check if these two rules are created for that particular user if you see both rules here delete these two rules right click delete message hard delete click ok and delete the second one as well delete message hard delete click ok now go back to outlook and turn on the rule again both for inside and outside click ok go back to mfc mappy now we should see these two rules again same way if you want to verify go to pr underscore rule underscore message name this is internal rule and pr underscore rule underscore message name and this is external so these two rules are created again if still you are facing problem you can delete these two templates as well and same way turn off oof and turn it back on these four things these two rules and two templates should be recreated so now you can check if the senders are receiving out of office emails or not apart from this you can use mfc mappy tool to check to how many users out of office emails are sent from your mailbox to check this you can close this window and go to root container under root container you will find free busy data this one click free busy data on the right side look for pr underscore delegated let me expand this a bit pr delegated by rule you need to look for this property now double click on this property and under text you will see to how many users this particular mailbox has sent out of office message let me send one email from one internal user and let me refresh mfc mappy double click go to root container select free busy data here look for pr underscore delegated by rule and here you can see one oof or out of office message is sent to 
this user and if out of office message is sent to multiple users you will see all the email addresses under text section now sometimes we come across an issue where a user is getting multiple out of office emails from your mailbox in that scenario what you will do go to this property pr delegated by rule double click on this value and whatever you see in binary field under this particular section delete this text click okay now this will stop sending multiple oof emails so you can check with the recipient if the issue is resolved or not so this way you can troubleshoot out of office feature or out of office issues using mfc mappy tool the second use case scenario that we are going to discuss is how you can use mfc mappy tool to find hidden folders of recover deleted items folder if you are familiar with recover deleted items folder you must know this folder has few hidden subfolders for example deletions purges discovery hold calendar logging audits and versions so basically every user mailbox is divided in two subtrees ipm subtree and non ipm subtree ipm subtree contains folders those are visible to the user like inbox sent items or deleted items the default folders of your mailbox but the recover deleted items folder comes under non ipm subtree because this folder has few hidden subfolders those are not visible to the end users you cannot see these folders using outlook client or from owa you can view these folders using either powershell or using mfc mappy when you enable litigation hold on a mailbox and when user will delete email from his mailbox that email will be stored within purges folder so you can come across scenarios where you need to delete emails from the purges folder now apart from mfc mappy tool you can use powershell to delete emails from these folders but that process is very lengthy as per microsoft article you can delete only 10 emails in one go so that is a lengthy process so let's see how you can find the hidden folders of recover deleted items folder using mfc mappy and how you can delete emails from these folders so as i said recover deleted item folder comes under non ipm subtree so that folder is not visible inside top of information store because under top of information store you see your default folders those are visible in outlook client or in owa but the recover deleted item folder is available under root container you need to expand root container and here look for recover recoverable items now here you see all the hidden folders or the subfolders of recover deleted item folder audits calendar logging deletions purges holds and versions now if you want to delete emails from a particular folder there are two ways select the folder right click click open contents table this will list all the emails those are available inside this particular folder you can select the email one by one or you can select multiple emails like this and right click delete message select your selection like hard delete and then click okay this will delete all the emails from the folder but let's say like in most of the scenarios we come across the purges folder is full like 100 gb so there will be n number of emails and this is not feasible to select each and every email or multiple emails manually and then delete them so you can right click on the folder click advanced and then click empty items and subfolders from folder this will delete all the emails inside purges folder as well as if there is any subfolder inside purges folder that will be deleted as well so make the selection here like hard deletion and then click okay everything that is inside this folder will be deleted in the next video i will demonstrate to you how to use mfc mappy to troubleshoot retention policy issues in exchange environment
So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.